All right, if not, let's get going. So a little bit of space. Feet just outside that hip width apart. And we'll start off with the usual stretches. So squatting down low, stretching up nice and high. There is stuff all over the place behind me because we're essentially just painting everything. Well, I say we, mainly Phil and Dom have been painting all the kit, getting everything. So everything's nice and shiny. Keeping them busy. Keeping them going. Yeah. Called OCD. <laughs> yes. You're talking to an expert. <laughs> well, I've been part of it. It's been really open, obviously. We don't want it to look like it's been abandoned for X amount of months. It's got to look <laughs> nice and ready. Yeah. And hopefully this will be the last reopening we do. Hopefully it'll be reopened, stay open, happy days. Oh, dang. So don't worry about these being quick. Just get a nice full range of motion on them, nice and low, nice full stretch. And relax off there. Gonna lunge, twist over your forward knee, alternate the leg you're stepping into. So whichever leg's forward, that's the way you twist. And make sure you're not just looking over your shoulder. Step into that left leg, rotate the chest to point left. Step into that right leg, rotate the chest to point right. So you're trying to get a full twist in there. It's going to stretch off the core as well, not just the legs. And again, just nice and controlled. Doesn't matter about getting loads of reps. All we care about is the movement itself, getting those smaller muscle groups moving as well as the larger ones. And relax off there. Next one I'll show you from the side on. Feet hip width apart, toes forward, little bend in the knee, just rolling over. Nice big bend in the back to the floor. And then standing up into a Y shape. Slow and controlled on these. Go on and drop your head low and stand up straight over and over again at a high speed. It will make you feel horribly lightheaded. So just nice and slow and controlled. If your flexibility lets you, you can do this with straight legs, but I'll put a little bend in there just to make it feel a little bit easier on the hamstrings. So you can really get that full stretch in there for the lower back. Keeping those going. And finish off that last rep. Last one we're going to do, standing up straight, arms forward, palms down, one hand on top of the other. You're going to draw back level and then turn your palms up, drive that little finger to the ceiling and then fold back in, just alternating your top hand. Let some of these go a little bit lower. Let some of them go a little bit higher. Just vary the heights as you go. Stretch off all those fibers in the chest and shoulders, get everything moving. Just remember you're driving that little finger up, palms to the ceiling, and just swapping that top hand, working through those. Last one of the warm up stretches, then we'll get on the mats, get going on some glute work, getting into the main stuff. And just like all the stretches, don't worry about speed. It's just a full range of motion that we want. And relax off there. It's on. Right. Let's start off on the mats. Make sure you've got a bit of room. 
And we are going to start off with glue again, just to go over. You've got your regular version where you're going to be laying in almost a sit up position, feet planted, pushing through the heels, squeezing those glutes at the top. If you want to take a little bit more advanced, what you're going to do is come up onto your hands and you're going to press into a full body bridge from there. Just bear in mind that will take quite a bit more upper body strength. And you can always swap between the two if you want to start off on the regular, move on to the advanced afterwards. But straight into those when you're in. Whichever one you do, there are a couple of things to look out for. If you feel that lower back twinging or taking a lot of strain, take your feet a bit further away from your body. If you feel your calf muscles doing a lot of work or twinging, bring your feet a bit closer to your body. And all I want you to focus on is as you press up, big exhale and empty the lungs and squeeze those glutes as hard as you can. All about focusing on the glutes, all about mind muscle connection on this one. Well, in all the exercises we're gonna just start off with actually, really wanna focus on working those glutes. They're big, strong muscles, but it takes a lot of focus to get them doing what you want. Just working at a general controlled pace. And relaxing off there. We're going to go onto your knees now. So knees down, nice and upright. What we want you to do is take your feet a little bit wider than your knees behind yourself and let your feet relax and just sit down to your heels and then press up, back up to that upright position on the knees, squeezing the glutes. So you're almost doing a squat, but just not using the lower part of your legs. And again, all about squeezing those glutes at the top. Make sure you've got a mat under your knees. And even if you do, you might want to fold it over once or twice, just so you're not feeling your knees niggling on the floor. It's not a nice feeling. Make sure there's some cushioning underneath them. Just keep this as a controlled tempo. And again, focusing on squeezing those glutes and emptying the lungs at the top. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. And again, just want that full range of motion. Not gonna go too long on these, just in case you're out of a mat. Don't wanna wind up anyone's knees at all. Go for about another 10 seconds. And relax off there. Next one, gonna be side lion. So stacking your hips, stacking your knees, stacking your feet. What we want you to do is bend the legs until you've got almost like a 90 degree angle at the back of your knee, heels up towards your tailbone. And from here, what I want you to do is imagine keeping your heels close together, but knees as far apart as possible, lifting up and out, and then controlling back together. Doing it for a long distance between your knees, but only a short distance between your heels. With your upper body, just try and keep it all as relaxed as you can. If you're doing these quickly, you're not going to feel it at all where you want to feel it. So keep them slow, keep them controlled. And really, really imagine lifting that knee on top, up and out. The heels are staying close, knees are getting far apart. You should always feel that in the sides of your glutes on that top side. And try not to roll your upper body with it. Keep your upper body nice and stationary. That way it's going to stay on the side of that glute and you're not going to use your back muscles at all to help you out. Final 10 seconds, then we're going to swap over. In three, two, one. Same on the other side. So just swap round. 
Same positioning, that right angle at the back of the knee, upper body nice and relaxed, rest your head, and same movement, heels close, knees far apart. You're always gonna have one leg a little bit stronger and a little bit more coordinated than the other. So if it suddenly feels really awkward on this side, just slow that movement right down. Just remember the fundamental parts of it, of heels close, lift the knee up and behind, keeping the upper body as relaxed and still as you can. Focus on that slow tempo. Just got about 20 seconds or so left on this side. Gonna relax off from these in three, two, one. Next position you want is a box position. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Go back to whichever leg started on top on the last exercise. So the one you did first, that's the leg you're gonna use. What you can do is draw that knee through to your chest and then kick your heel up towards the ceiling. So drawing the knee through, driving the heel up. Main thing to focus on is your leg will not go straight as you kick up. So don't try and make it go straight. That'll take an insane amount of flexibility to do so. So keeping a bend in the knee, just kicking that heel up towards the ceiling. Imagine going straight up behind yourself with the heel. If you're feeling this a lot in your lower back, you might be putting a bit too much power into that kick. So just slow it down. Getting to that top point is gonna squeeze the glutes. So it doesn't really have to be super explosive. And make sure you're drawing that knee back through towards the chest each time. Keeping those going nice and controlled. Focus on a big exhale every time that heel comes up. We're going to be swapping over in about 10 seconds time. In three, two, one. Just swapping on that. The same movement, opposite side again, just that less coordinated side, just slow the movement right down. Join the knee through, driving the heel up, working on those glutes. Just got one more movement to go after this one, you'll know which one it is, the one we always finish on. But let's get these kicks out of the way first. Just coming into those last 15 seconds. And in three, two, one. Relax there. Bow to the floor. Just support your head on your arms. What you do is turn your, turn your toes to point out to the side. Heels point inwards. From here, all it is is a really long, slow exhale. Push the hips into the floor. Squeeze your glutes as hard as you can. That will drag your feet and maybe even your knees off the floor. But I want you to hold the squeeze for as long as you can while holding the long, slow exhale. And then relax, deep breath in and repeat. It's a really slow movement. Even if you're only getting one rep done in every 10 seconds, that's absolutely fine. As long as you're really squeezing those glutes, don't try and lift your legs as high as they'll go because all that does is engage back muscles. But just focus on pushing the hips into the floor, squeezing the glutes as hard as you can, empty the lungs, and then relax. Keep 
keeping those going. Got about 30 seconds to go on these. That is going to be the glute isolation stuff complete before we move on to the leg circuit. Fifteen seconds to go. Don't rush your reps. Even if you only get one more good rep done in that time, that's absolutely fine. And relax at the end of your next rep. Nice. <laughs> Let it relax for a second. Gentle sips on if you need them, and just shake the legs off a bit. Get a bit of movement in. Just going to take a minute to breathe, then we're going to get onto the leg circuit. <clears throat> so, what we're going to start on with the leg circuit is going to be side into a drive. The way that's going to work is, we're going to step out to the side into a side lunge, push back to the raise that leg up, reset, and then same on the other side. So we're alternating sides. And it's a side lunge into a drive to start with. Just going to let the timer get round and we'll start in 10 seconds. In three, two, one, and we go. Side lunge, press into that drive, pop the foot down, reset. So there's almost like a one second pause between each rep where you're just going to be resetting the feet. But don't worry if you're not flowing straight into your next rep every time. Not an issue at all. Where we're going to do the circuit today is one minute of work, 20 seconds to recover, and then straight into another exercise. That's halfway through these. Fifteen seconds left to go. Gonna relax off in three, two, one. What I want you to imagine now is your left foot is glued to the floor and you're gonna go for a front lunge and then a reverse lunge. So that left foot never leaves the floor. It's always staying there. 10 seconds till we go into those. The left foot stuck to the ground. Three, two, one. So stepping into a lunge, to the middle, into a reverse lunge. Make sure you step into the middle in between. You don't want to flow straight into your reverse lunge from your front lunge. You want to touch that foot to the middle each time. Left foot's not going anywhere, keeping it down. Focus on getting nice and long on your lunges. If you feel really wobbly, you might be taking too short of a step. So take a slightly longer step than you normally would. Step, dip, press, back to the middle. Step, dip, press, back to the middle. Got 10 seconds to go. We're going to swap feet. Remember, we've got that 20 second rest break in between. In three, two, one, relax. Catch the breath, use these 20 seconds to just get a bit of recovery in. Slow the breathing down, shake the legs off if you need to. Quick sip of your drink. And we're gonna go in, right leg glued to the floor, in. Three, two, one, right, le right leg glued to the floor. Step into the lunge, reset. Step back into a lunge, reset. It's still gonna be those four parts. Step, dip, press, reset, and into your next lunge. Forward lunge, reverse lunge, forward lunge, reverse lunge. Just keep those going at your tempo. Work how you're comfortable with.
10 seconds left. <coughs> Three, two, one. Relax off there. 20 seconds to breathe. Shake the legs, grab your drink. When we go back in, it's going to be squats with a pulse. So feet hit with the part, or pull the down, small pulse, drive up, squeeze the glutes. In three, one, and we go. Drop down, small pulse, drive up, squeeze your glutes at the top. Main focus is to make sure that pulse is right at the bottom of the movement. So hips are right down there with the knees, small pulse, press up through your heels, squeezing the glutes at the top. Let's keep you working through those. Remember that breathing. It's always a deep breath in on your way down. Big breath out and squeeze at the top. Ten seconds to go. Three, two, one, relax. We're gonna go frog squats next. I'll show you from side on. What we do this is we squat down, keep the chest low, straighten the legs, drop back to that squat, stand up and squeeze. So squat down, RDL up, drop down, squat up. In three, two, one, and we go. So squat down, keep the chest down there, straighten the legs, drop back to the bottom of the squat, stand up, Squeeze the glutes. So it's a cross between the squat and the RDL combined. You'll know you're doing it right. When you press those legs straight, keep your chest down, the hamstrings will scream at you. That's when you drop back down, drive up and finish your squat. Even though we did all that glute work at the start, I still want you to really squeeze those glutes every rep. By far the hardest muscle in the legs to hit. Keep the nose going. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. Back off there. All we've got left to get through now is a squat hold. You can do a wall seat if you prefer, if you've got the stuff there for it. So just a flat wall next to you. If not, it's just going to be dropped to the bottom of your squat and hold in there. In. <laughs> Two, one, drop to the bottom of that squat or wall sit. Gonna look for a whole minute here. Gonna look for the full minute in this wall sit or squat hold, whichever you've chosen. So really just keep your focus on these. It is a long time to hold it for, especially at the end of a set. Your legs might feel a little bit wobbly. Knees might be shaking. That's exactly what you want. That's how you know your legs are at their limit. Only rule we've got, you can't rest on your lap. That's gonna make it a lot easier. Hands can be balanced or just tucked away, just no resting on your legs and keeping that hold. 30 seconds left. If you've made it halfway, you can make it the whole way. Fifteen seconds, keep the hold, keep the breathing, keep your focus. Ten more. Three. Two, one, let yourselves relax. Nice, well done, spot on. That's the first round of those gone. We are gonna do the exact same thing one more time. When I say you just relax, recover, shake the legs off a little bit, exaggerate your walking motion a little bit. If your legs feel like they need you to, just to shake them off, get them moving. Gonna be honest, I'm losing it a little bit because of the paint fumes. I don't really know what's going on with me, but we'll be all right. So just got about a minute to recover. So it's your chance, gentle sips in your drink. If you take big gulps, they'll sit in your stomach and they'll feel horrible when we do abs at the end. Especially if it's a gin and tonic. Yes. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I should say that, should we? No. <laughs> I missed <laughs> I missed 
plus the wide gin and tonic. <laughs> <laughs> let's get ready to go. We are going to do the same circuit, but we're going to go slightly shorter on the rest breaks. Let's get you ready. Here. Three, two, one. Side lunges. Drive into the middle. Straight into those when you're ready. Alternate in which foot you're stepping into. All we're going to do is slightly reduce the, the rest times between them. We had 20 seconds before. We're going to dip it down to 15. But try not to adjust your intensity level. Put the same effort in as you did before. But we've got those slightly shorter rest breaks. Just remember, as you step into that side lunge, you still push the hips back. Don't lean the hips over that knee. Still push them back behind you. Then lean across. Alternate each side. And have you relaxing in. Three, two, one. Relax off there. 15 seconds to breathe. And that left leg's glued to the floor. We've got the front lunge. Reset. Reverse lunge. Reset. Left leg doesn't move. In three, Two, one, and we go. Left foot doesn't move, sorry. Stepping into that forward lunge, dipping down, reset to the middle, then into that reverse lunge. Past halfway. Going to have you relax off in three, two, and one. Relax. It's going to be the exact same with the right leg stuck down. So right foot not moving. Forward lunge. Reverse lunge. Make sure to reset in between. Right foot stays where it is. Three, two, one. And we go. Same movement. Nice and controlled. Step, dip, press, and then reset. Right foot not coming off the floor. You've just gone past your halfway point. Keep the control and keep the effort. Final 10 seconds, still working through those. Three, two, and one. Relaxing off there. We've got squats with a pulse next. Feet set head width apart. Toes point slightly out. Drop all the way down. Small pulse. Drive up. Squeeze the glutes and control the breathing. In three, two, one. In we go. Working through those, nice and controlled. Remember, you want to get the hips all the way down level with the knees before you add that pulse. Just imagine adding an extra tenth of a rep in there, which so is that small pulse. Pop up, dip back down, then finish the rep. Halfway. Three, two, 
one, relax off there. Frog squats up legs. The last of our movements before the hold. Just remember you're squatting down. Keep the chest where it is to straighten your legs. Drop the hips back down. Stand up and complete the squat. Three, two, one. And we go. One minute on these. Remember, feel out for those hamstrings. When you drop to the bottom of that squat and straighten the legs with your chest low, you should feel them pull really tight and they should scream at you. That's your cue to drop the hips back down into the squat and then complete it. Nice controlled tempo with these. Don't need to rush them. Still squeezing the glutes at the top. Halfway there. Fifteen seconds. Three, two, one. Relax. Squat hold coming up next to finish off the legs. Get ready on the wall if you're going to do a wall sit. If not, just get your feet positioned and we're going to drop into that squat hold in three, two, one, down into that squat hold, right down, hips level with knees. Remember, same rules, no hands in the lap, no resting your forearms on your lap, nothing like that. Just supporting your full body weight at the bottom of that squat, keeping the tension all throughout the legs. If you can, try and focus on the weight on your heels, chest, chest up, back nice and straight. If you do need to roll forward a little bit, that shouldn't be an issue. You've got no strain on your upper back supporting the weight or anything like that but do your best to keep that back flat as you would when squatting away. Halfway there. Fifteen seconds left. Three, two, one, relax off there. Get your breath out, let yourselves recover, shake your legs off. Sorry if my screen disappeared there for a second. I think my popped up, but we should be all right. Should last plenty of time. Right, for abs, what we're going to do is, it's going to be the same sort of idea with the circuit, but it's going to be a lot higher speed. What we're going to do is 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, working through the ab timer instead. So all you're going to want is your mat, and a bit of space, and we'll get ready. So first movement we're gonna go for is gonna be a bicycle crunch into a toe tap. So for that, you're gonna bring your elbows to your opposite knee, lay flat, and then hand to toe, always going across your body. So elbow to knee, hand to toe, elbow to knee, hand to toe. That'll be the first movement. We'll then get a 10 second rest to swap position and go into mountain climbers. 10 second rest, bicycle toe taps, 10 second rest, mountain climbers, and we'll take a 10 second rest before we finish on a long arm plank. So let's get ready. Bicycle toe taps coming up first, and we're going to go into them in about seconds. Three, two, one, and we go. Bicycle toe taps, elbow to knee, hand to toe. Always going across your body. For three, two, one. 10 seconds to breathe. That's just enough time to swap positions. Get ready. We're going to go mountain climbers in. Three, two, one. Mountain climbers. Nice and controlled in that long arm plank position. Knees popping forward, just running against the floor. As soon as your toes hit the floor, get them moving again. Two, one, relax. Bicycle toe taps coming up again next. Get your position in. Going back in. And three, two, one. And we go. Cross the body, elbow to knee, hand to toe. Breath out with each one. Three. 
three, two, one. Ready for those mountain climbers again. Three, two, one. Here we go. Keep up with the tempo. Just got the plank to go after this. You can go long arm or short arm. I'm gonna go with long arm. You choose what you'd prefer. Keeping those toes moving for three, two, one. Relax, catch your breath. 20 second plank coming up to finish in three, two, one. Into that plank. 20 seconds here, so really squeeze those abs. Try and get as much out of those 20 seconds as you can. Already halfway. Three, two, one, relax off there. <laughs> Catch your breath, get your recovery. And we're gonna go one more time, same time ends, and then we're there. Happy days, Thursday complete. <sighs> so, same movements. Bicycle toe taps, mountain climbers, toe taps, mountain climbers, and that. Let's get you ready. Bicycle toe taps coming up first. In about 10 seconds time. And let's get you ready. In three, two, one. Here we go. Elbow to knee, hand to toe, exhaling with both. Always going across the body. Three, two, one. Relax. Change your positioning. Get ready. In three, two, one. In we go. That movement, keeping that effort for three, two, one. Relax off there. Find a lot of bicycle toe taps. Try and keep up if you can. In three, two, one. Here we go. Two, one, relax. Last the mountain climbers coming up. Let's get you ready. Three, two, one, here we go. Halfway there. Three. Two, one, let's get short arm or long arm. I'm gonna go for short arm this time, just to change it up. In three, two, one, in we go. Get to that plank position, hold in there, squeeze those abs. 20 seconds of work left to go in the class. We're already halfway through it. For three, two, one, relax off there. Catch your breath, guys. Well done. That's all the hard work out of the way. Just going to let you recover now. Get some breath back before we stretch down. Spot on. Well done. Thank you. Kind of, now. All the hard work done. Unless it's gin and tonic, then you might want to sip it. <laughs> Full McHugh. <McHugh's. laughs> all feel all right? 
Yeah, it's good. Thank you, Matt. Yeah, thank good. you. Yes, good sweat. Nice and intense. Yes. Thank you, Matt. Yes. Right. Let's get going on the stretch. Flat maintenance. It's not for flexibility. It's more for health and recovery for the joints and muscles. Mm -hmm. Let's start off with legs straight, feet with the part toes forward, push the hips back, and let your head hang down, reaching for your toes. And we're going big breath out, reach for the chin, hips forward, flat backwards bend. And relax off there. Quads. And swap it over. Same on the other side. And relax off. Let's hug both those arms out. Dip the head, arch up the back. Push your shoulders away from yourself and draw your chest into your body. And then hug both arms all the way around. Chest forward, shoulders back, draw and meet your elbows together behind your back. And then shoulders, straight arm across the body. Look over the shoulder you're stretching. And swap it, same on the other side. Triceps, hand on the back of the opposite shoulder, pushing your elbow to follow your wrist. And then swap in exact same on the other side. Get positioning, get that hold. Gently breathing through. And then relax off completely there. <laughs>